One of my favorite days of the year because I can't get enough. Let them eat, let them eat, let them eat. My fat man's dream back in the day. And if you didn't watch it or you missed it somehow, because it did not go on television when it was supposed to go on television, there was a rain delay. Yes, there was a rain delay at an eating contest. Who goof? I've got to know. It should have been raining down M&Ms. That would have been perfect. Not peanut M&Ms, just regular M&Ms. So Joey Chestnut, did he win? Yes! Of course, he persevered. This is a perseverance story. Joey Chestnut, the greatest winner of all time at competitive eating, he continued on through a rain delay. He would wolf down another victory at the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest on the 4th of July as he downed 62 francs and buns in 10 Minutes, Chestnut, dominate as the runner-up, a guy named Jeffrey Esper from uh, Massachusetts, Oxford, Mass., Jeffrey Esper, and the rest of the field. There was a bunch of international contestants, uh, 15 competitive eaters from all over the world were united here, and Chestnut wins by double digits. USA! USA, USA, and that is his 16th championship. Chestnut has won eight straight mustard belts. Let me repeat that for those of you in the back of the room. Eight straight mustard belts. Not two, not three, not four, not five. Yeah. Keep going, LeBron. Uh, This guy, Esper, finished in second place. He ate 49 dogs and buns. He ingested 49 dogs and buns, and he ends up finishing 13 wieners behind the winner, not the wiener, Joey Joey Jaws. That's his nickname, Joey Jaws. Uh, and this year's contestant, Poole, had competitors from England, South Korea, Japan, Brazil, Australia. There was a Canadian lad in there as well. And after Joey Chestnut was victorious, the San Antonio Spurs number one pick, Victor Wembanyama. Yeah, he chimed in on this. He goes, well, I want to know what Victor has to say about Joey Chestnut. Wemby. So Wemby said yeah, he was impressed. How do we know he was impressed? He took a moment out from his day to acknowledge the dominance of Joey Chestnut, fellow athlete to fellow athlete, as Victor Wembanyama went on the gram and called Joey Chestnut, quote, the most dominant athlete of all time, close quote. So let us discuss the question. Victor Wembanyama calling Joey Chestnut the most dominant athlete of all time. Is that in bounds or out of bounds? We go to the instant replay, and that is in bounds. In bounds. I've got John D. Rockefeller, McDonald's, and Evil Knievel. And we will connect all of these things together like a bun and a hot dog and mustard are connected together. Now, first of all, This guy, Wemby, he gets a gold star in my book. That's a good take. Iron sharpens iron. Athlete pumps up athlete. It's like the old Shakespeare quote. Be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great. Some achieve greatness. And others have greatness thrust upon them. Well, Wemby was born great. He won the genetic lottery. He's uh, as tall as the Eiffel Tower. Chestnut has achieved greatness. He's just a regular dude from uh, Northern California, and he has worked his magic. Doesn't look like Adonis. He doesn't have the washboard abs and all that. This guy has gone in to the sorcerer's workshop, or in this case, the sorcerer's kitchen, and he has figured out the cheat code to defy the limits of the body and pigging out. And really taking the John D. Rockefeller quote to new levels, the secret to success, an old quote by Rockefeller, the secret to success is to do the common things uncommonly well, like eating a nice Polish sausage. Right? Seriously. I mean, we all have to eat. We don't eat. We die. Every single person that has ever lived has had to eat. And as long as we go into the future, that will be the case. And if you're not eating, you're not a human, right? That's part of the human thing. We all eat. We, you know, whole thing. 
So this guy, Chestnut, has figured out how to eat something that everyone has to do, but he does it uncommonly well. Well enough to have won 16 of the last 17 hot dog eating contests. Amazing. 62 dogs in 10 minutes. Now, that's not even close to his record, but that is 18,400-plus calories for Joey Chestnut. And he has competed each year. He competes about 20, 25 events a year, and he has 55 world records. This guy's got 55 world records, the 76 hot dog and buns. That's the greatest record of all time. That's the Joe DiMaggio hitting streak. Uh, That is the back-to-back no-hitters by Johnny Vandermeer. Uh, That is Fernando Tatis Jr., two home runs in the same inning. Uh, Fernando Tatis Sr., I should say. But he's also got the record, Joey Chestnut, for eating the most hard-boiled eggs, 141 in eight minutes. Glazed donuts, 55 in eight. Uh, Soft-shell beef tacos from Taco Bell, 53 of those in 10 minutes. I can go on and on. I, I mean, he's got every record. Uh, ice cream sandwiches. He ate 25 and a half ice cream sandwiches in six minutes. 25 and a half. And so, damn right, damn right, Wemby, when you say that this guy is the most dominant athlete of all time, you're not wrong. Now, secondly, Joey Chestnut added a, another layer to his legend. If you were watching the events that took place on the 4th of July, it means he had nothing else going on and you were glued to the, to the TV. So news came out that the hot dog eating contest was going to be canceled. Now, why would they cancel it because of some rain? Well, the forecast was not great and all that. So then Joey Chestnut had a hissy fit, supposedly, and he was caught on camera. He stormed out into the rainy Brooklyn sky there, and he had laser-like focus. It was like a march, like Vince McMahon doing the pimp walk. Yeah, Joey Chestnut was a man on a mission. And he had this look on his face like he was not going to allow this event to be canceled. So this photo, somebody took a screenshot. The photo went viral. So what did you make of Joey Chestnut pushing for the contest, or the eating contest, the hot dog contest to go forward in the rain delay? This was a classical moment. The bad-tempered scowl. And I saw Joey Chestnut undergo a metamorphosis. He became a McDonald's character. He became Grimace, but not the Grimace shake. This was somebody who was hell-bent. He had a job to do. This is the biggest event of the year. He has an insatiable appetite for Frankfurters. It was his day. You don't cancel the Super Bowl because of a little rain. The show must go on. All right, final thought. So let's get back to the point. Every year we talk about this, and every year, inevitably, some dumb dumb will say, well, you know, that's not really a sport, you know. You're just uh, just, uh, talking nonsense uh, because it's not a sport. Everyone has to eat. Okay. Is Joey Chestnut an athlete? Forget whether or not it's a sport. It's a sport. But is Joey Chestnut an athlete? Yeah, I'm nodding my head yes. What is an athlete? How How would you define an athlete? The American Heart Association defines an athlete as one who participates in an organized team or individual sport that requires regular competition against others as a central component and places a premium on excellence and achievement and requires some form of uh, systematic training. So in many ways, doing a radio show is also, I'm I'm an athlete, I'm an audio athlete. But we're talking about Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut meets that criteria. He regularly competes against other professional eaters. He has shown excellence and achievement. It requires rigorous training. Joey Chestnut, I've had him on. In fact, I'm going to have him on on Friday on my podcast. I'm going to interview him here in the next couple days. We're going to have Joey Chestnut on the Fifth Hour Podcast. It'll be up on Friday. And I know he's excited about that. But he's like a boxer. Yeah, Joey Chestnut spends six to eight weeks getting ready for an event. Six to eight weeks. Anywhere from three to five hours a day. He extends the boundaries of the human body, and he pushes his stomach to the limit. The man's a modern-day evil Knievel. He's a food daredevil. Evil Knievel on a motorcycle back in the old days would jump over cars. But you know what? Eating a lot of food can kill you, right? Joey Chestnut is risking his life for our entertainment, and that's not a lie. People have died 
during eating competitions. In 2017, there was a college student who died. He choked eating pancakes. What a way to go out, choking on a pancake. That same year, a guy in his 40s, he died eating donuts. He ate too many donuts. It's a life and death situation. Joey Chestnut, an athlete. Certainly more of an athlete than a golfer. Uh, I'd say that. And there's other athletes like baseball players aren't really athletes and all that. So uh, let's uh, keep it real here, please.